What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm C. <laughs> Did you forget your name? <laughs> no, I forgot to introduce myself. I was waiting for you to to I forgot. You. I'm P. And and today we're gonna be giving our thoughts on the Bill Bill Cosby situation. We'll be seeing it around how he's 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 free now. Mm -hmm. We're not really we don't really understand exactly how he became free exactly. So mm -hmm. we find out the video. It's um. Andrew Short's channel. He's they it's a podcast day. We still yeah, we actually done before, right? Yeah. You guys before. know how we feel about and, and Andrew his, Short. In this podcast, he's basically talk about you know um talk about a lot of stuff. What what was it called? Like um topics like random topics. Not random, more like topics that are like in the you know News in the sphere. Today, you know, yeah, whatever. Well, they talk. They talk about kind of like us. They talk about stuff that they feel passionate about. Yeah. So they're gonna they're gonna give a, a explanation of how he got free, and you know, cause I think a lot of people will will know, will say he's free and they get mad about it. Right? You know, they're not gonna understand how exactly he got free. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna explain how. Well, it a lot of happened. people like yeah, he finally some justice. I've heard hearing that a lot. Of people, justice. Yeah. I'm Look, not listen, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna act like it. Think, you know, saying I know if he did or did not do it. I don't know if he did or did not do it. We're just gonna talk about it. Yeah. Okay. So gonna explain how he got free, and we're gonna have a conversation about about it. Guys, and yes. just show his channel. We're gonna link his channel in the in the comment section. He's a great mm -hmm. great guy. He's a funny guy. Funny podcast. You definitely subscribe. He to has a few podcasts, yeah. and he's also a comedian, and he's hilarious yeah. and. I like um, how real he is too, with a lot of the topics he talks about yeah. with his friends. I think what's special about his podcast is that he talks about a bunch of topics, but also makes, makes it funny. Mm -hmm. So you're never bored when, you, when, when you're podcast. watching it. Yeah. yeah, so I think it's very funny. As always, let us know what you think about this video down below in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit that bell so you can get notified for our upcoming videos. Remember, we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers and we need your help to get there. So help us out. Let's go. Cosby has been released, okay? Mark, quickly tell us why he's released. All right, basically in 2005, Bill Cosby was in a civil case with a woman and because he chose to do the civil case- He or she? Because Bill Cosby, his, the prosecutors basically put him in the civil case because they didn't think they could get a criminal conviction in an actual criminal case at the state level. It is much easier to get a conviction in a civil case than a criminal case. OJ was convicted civilly, which means he has to pay money. Civil case is all about paying money. Right. But he was not convicted, as we know, criminally. Right. So the prosecution said, listen, so, yeah. you ain't going to convict this guy. There's not enough information to convict this guy in a criminal case, but I think we can get him in a civil case or yeah. you guys can settle. And at the time, I don't think there was as many allegations against him. Yeah. There was a few, and this was the main one, I guess, that they brought towards him. And the important thing is is settling. There, yeah. There's not really settling in a criminal case. There is if you get offered like a deal, like a plea deal, but you're admitting guilt. Right. Settling in the civil case is not necessarily an admission. No. Right. The case can just stop. Maybe sometimes it's part of it. I remember Kobe's civil case, he had to like write a letter that basically yeah. said, I didn't know that that's what it was. If I can see why she felt it was that. Yeah. Okay. Continue. So basically the rule with the DA that they brought to him, the deal they brought to him was said, basically, if you go through the civil case, we're not going to prosecute you on criminal charges, but that's the deal in order mm -hmm. to go through the civil case. He basically loses his right to the fifth amendment. So he's not allowed to plead, uh, plead like the fifth. Yeah, yeah he's not allowed quick. to plead the fifth. Pleading the fifth is basically um, you cannot. Uh, what is it? Uh, Self-incriminate. Yeah, you cannot self-incriminate. So if you're on the stand, you could potentially give it. That's why you know when when a cop stop you, they say you have the right to be silent because if you say stuff, they might use that in court against you because the you know normal humans don't know about the laws or that they're not lawyers. They don't know about the extent of the law. Mm -hmm. So you might say something that you know might incriminate you. Mm -hmm. not, not do it. So, so I, okay, this is what I'm, I'm guessing in, in like in a civil case, you know, you're not allowed to, um, it's like if you, like he said, if you lose that, you just pay money. You don't really get put in, put, put in jail. That's exactly. It. And then, yeah, basically that, 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 that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you, do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Cool information that could put you behind bars or convict you right yep. so you're allowed to say i plead the fifth you don't even fucking talk yeah he's not allowed to do that in the civil case right. so therefore he's allowed to go to the stand they're allowed to ask him questions yep. so they can ask him questions and then the answers to those questions 
might be used against in, him in court against him in court in the future but they can't because they made the agreement that they have never bring yeah. him back to court. i almost think i think he's obligated under oath to say and to answer the lawyer's questions Boom. in the civil case Boom. so basically they asked him you know did you give women quaaludes at this party in the 90s or whatever right. and he said yes i gave women quaaludes right and of course the story always been with cosby's he's drugging women he's giving them pills or whatever maybe they don't even know he's giving pills obviously we've all heard the cappuccino story girls are passing out and he's having sex with them that's been the allegations the whole time he has refuted these allegations the whole time but um here is evidence of him admitting to giving drugs to women and now it's consistent with what all these women have said which is yo he made me pass out and had sex with me while i'm asleep yeah right basically have all the information yeah. Yeah. now cosby's argument has always been we all just took drugs. That's what we did. We we're at parties. Like, yeah. I wasn't given. I don't think about the fifth amendment thing. How I say, you know, in the civil case, you you have, you you know, you don't get the fifth amendment. But again, how do you understand the truth? It's the same thing. Yeah. It's like you say, I swear to the truth, but it's like yeah. you're not defending the truth. Okay. Well, what do you think about the his claim that it's a party? Everybody to do these drugs. Well, you're talking about the sixties, right? You said the sixties. He said the sixties. I don't. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he said the sixties. So I, I, if it's the sixties, then yeah, I, I get that. So, so how does everybody was doing drugs? So how do you differentiate differentiate between everybody taking drugs and just him giving you drugs to obsess with them? That that go it's borderline. At that point, it's borderline. He said, she said, yeah. because of the fact that these women didn't come out. Wait, wait, I don't know. They didn't. They come out now. They didn't come out. Later. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They didn't come out. Yeah, it passed when it happened. It's just thing is like the so the, the longer you wait, the, the more, less evidence that, exactly. that, that that they have, the less they have to work with. Exactly. That's why you always say, women, that if you th if you believe you 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 got you know you got assaulted or you know somebody you know did that to you, you should go to go to call the cops immediately. Immediately, you know and you I mean? get the test. E exactly. And everything. So there's more evidence. The only you do is the more evidence they have to mm -hmm. convict the, the person. But if you, if you wait. 10, 20 years, there's less it's evidence right, to go by. It becomes more of a he said, yeah, she and, said. And then, then your, your, your mind kind of gets, gets foggy about what really happened. The more time you have, the more your mind jumbles things up. Mm -hmm. So if you believe you, you got you know, rape or anything like that, you should all right just call the police. Did he you know? deny at first that he was giving women drugs and then admitted to it? I don't because know. Because if that's the case, then, then, you know, then, then it's a little bit fishy. Exactly. You exactly. got to believe the women. Exactly. But if he's always admitted to giving girls drugs, and his Listen, claim was I'm not it saying believe, 60s, believe, not believe anyone. That's the course to decide. Yes. I'm going to give my opinions, okay? Like, like, like I've heard people say, if you come to class immediately, there's more evidence. Yes. The people's... um collection of things are, are, are fresher but if you were 10 years 20 30 years mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's harder to actually show you know, evidence exactly that. has always been we all just took drugs that's what we did we we're at parties like, yeah. i wasn't giving them drugs so i could do this we were all just doing drugs mm -hmm. that's yep. his argument the whole time yep. okay so then years later the new montgomery county da said that the da in 2005 hadn't formally bound the state so therefore, that non-prosecution agreement was just a public statement, but not any any type of like signed legal document. So the state tried to pull some slick shit. Yeah, yeah. They're like, yo, we made you an offer, but since there was no signature, it's not real. Yeah. yeah. Or I think they might even said, just judging by that, it was just a public announcement, which is a verbal contract is also binding. Right. Well, so guess, they try to stormy Daniels, yeah. basically. Yeah. It, it like, depends. You sign the NDA, motherfucker. It depends yeah. on if it is public, like if it is legally binding or not, just a public statement. Right. So or originally, it wasn't legally binding. Which is why they were able to prosecute him and charge him with however many years in prison he got. Then Cosby's legal team said, yo, it is. Mm. Yeah, exactly. And then, and then recently, just the today, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court came out and said, for the reasons detailed below, we hold that the prosecutor makes an unconditional promise of non-prosecution. So therefore, the case is... Okay, so let's tell him that in a civil case, he will, he will let, they, they will not take what they did in a civil case to the criminal case. I mean, so let's say you admit of something in a civil case, right? Mm -hmm. they, I guess they're making an agreement saying they won't take the thing he said in a civil case to, to you know, use it as evidence in a criminal case. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing they, they, they did that. Yeah. So he, he went to jail. But now they're saying, wait, you tell us that you, you, you couldn't use the, the civil case as evidence for the criminal case. But they were trying to say that it was a public announcement. Exactly, and not legally. Ex ex exactly. Because, um, he said uh, verbal agreement is it's also, also binding. binding so that's why it's out of jail mm -hmm. because because they they because it's not how they say if a police search your home without a warrant and they find evidence they cannot use that in court mm -hmm. 
basically that's what happened. Where they they used something that that was able to use in court. They used it in court to come to, to convict him. So mm-hmm. now that they're saying, yo, they shouldn't have used this in court. Now you cannot you cannot be in jail. So they release them. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I, that's, I think that, that's why it's important for police it's officers very... and people of the law to follow the rules. Because mm-hmm. if you don't follow the rules, somebody mm, might, might be gu- gu- guilty and... and they are getting free because... Because you cannot use that evidence that you found. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's, like, that's why you really need good lawyers because things could get so tricky when it comes exactly. to the law. There's a lot of little loopholes That's how we need lawyers, exactly. So... I think if his lawyers was good, they would have let, let that go. Yeah. His lawyers caught that. Like, well, they he's use a famous stuff. man. He it's has good case. lawyers. Exactly. exactly. So, so that's very smart. Very smart of them. The the lawyering. Uh, I'm saying very smart lawyering. <laughs> saying the word lawyering. lawyering. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you're saying lawyering. <laughs> <laughs> the computer makes an unconditional promise of non-prosecution, so therefore the case is dismissed, more yeah. or less. So it's not a verdict on guilt or innocence, yeah. but just the case has to get thrown out. And what's that. interesting is he's still convicted. Yeah. The case has now been thrown out, but he still mm-hmm. got convicted, and based on the evidence... Yeah. The jury felt like he was a rapist. Yeah. Evidence that they got both from the women that were against him, but also that he said in this 2005 case that couldn't be used against him. And he would never be on the stand if he was a right. criminal case in the first place. So right. they're trying to say some of the evidence that you use should never have been used in court. Right. That being said, because they had this fucking evidence, they concluded that he was guilty of rape. Yeah. Right. So mm-hmm. it's a very tricky thing because of our justice system. They have to let him out. They have yeah, to release him, insane. even though yeah. they, they, they feel he's insane. guilty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so, crazy. That's, 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 that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> and, and 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 I think some people are looking at this, and they're not as uh, unfortunately. This is kind of sad to say, but like they're not as concerned because of his age, right? right. You're looking at a 78 year old man, or 83. Man, 83 year old man who's blind and shit, right? Imagine this was a 25 year old rapist. Oh. Now a rapist on the street. Yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. It or, is diff- or a twenty-five-year-old convicted thing. rapist. Even if he said he didn't do it or nothing, blah blah blah. But with the information that they had, they convicted that twenty-five-year-old. Now he's back on the street. He's back in your neighborhood. Yeah, it's going to be a different energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's going to be a very different energy. Yeah. yeah. And so, is, is that okay though? Like, think about it. I don't think this thing is okay. I I can say they're not worrying about as much because uh, a, a eighty-three-year-old man cannot go out there and, and, and you know assault a, a, a woman. I thought it's your knowledge. You know what I mean? What do you, mean? you don't know. A lot, there's a lot of people that are up there in age that are actually pretty um, fit and yeah, but when he's he's blind. He's blind. He's like it's like almost blind. I think I saw a video of him like. Going I'm just saying, you know. No, I, don't I don't think understand. it should matter on mm-hmm. age. Like if you if you did something like this, there, there's ways that you could still do it again. You know what I mean? I think so, no matter what, you should. Feel some type of way about having somebody like that. Yeah, of, of course. But what I think the uh, argument is, isn't it better that he's eighty two years and, and blind compared to if he was twenty three years and like a, a you know a spit man? You know what I mean? Because he's he has more um of ability to do that to to other girls. But a twenty a eighty two year old man, yeah, this kid don't have that you know ability to do that himself. You know. To, to women, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think that's what the argument is. Okay. Like, if he was, like, younger, then it would be more of a, you know, mm-hmm. a problem. But it's still a problem that he's, you know, 82 and he's out. No one, I don't think he's saying it's not a problem at all. I'm saying he's saying it's just a problem if, because he's older and he's blind and, you know. Yeah. It seems like most, of, I only read a few articles on it, but it seems like most of the articles I read, most attorneys are like, the guy's a scumbag, but it's the right ruling. That there was a miscarriage of justice, that he shouldn't have been sent to prison, but it's he's he did it. You know who basically. the lawyer was? Who's that? The lawyer, Mrs. Um, Huxtable. <laughs> <laughs> she would. Felicia Rashad would because she's been holding his ass. Miscarriage down. of justice are her exact words. Wow. Uh, yep. Um, Felicia Rashad is uh, played the uh, the wife, Mrs. Huxtable, on the Cosby Show, and she was the first person out there tweeting with a picture of him saying. Uh, finally, a miscarriage of justice has been corrected or yeah, overturned. Been or something right or something like that. Like um, no, but his lawyer mm-hmm. for this case, I believe, was Trump's um, something lawyer. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe you can look it up really quick. But there was some connection to Trump. All right, guys. So, so, so that, that's about a, a, a 
about it. Do you anything you want to, you want to say, about, say about this? I don't know. I like I said before, if he admitted to the drugs, um, before the hearing, before the statement even. Okay, but but, but I think the point is that do you trust the verdict? Let's say we can use the civil case. You know, do you like trust the verdict of, of the court that they sent him in jail? You know what I mean? Like, do you believe he did it based on the evidence that was given? Well, like I'm saying... No, no, other evidence, obviously. Well, I'm but. saying, if he admitted to giving the drugs to the women multiple times and then took that admission away, yeah, then that's fishy. Then I would believe the girls a little bit more. But if he did it and his, and but, his, and his line was constantly, um, that's what we did, we were just partying, doing drugs and stuff like that, then it becomes a he said, she said. Because in the 60s, yeah, everybody was doing drugs. Any, ask anybody who was born in the 60s, they'll tell you everybody was doing drugs. But what drugs. I'm saying is we don't, we don't know what, so like, what he said. Because it's 10 years now past, and this happened in the 60s, where everybody was doing drugs and stuff like that, it becomes like a he said, she said kind of big deal. So it really depends on, like I said, if he admitted to giving drugs to them and then took that admission away... I would lead more towards the girls. If he didn't, then it's like, eh, because it's so long. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But what it's I'm saying so is, long. Well, we don't know that what, what he said, what he didn't say. We're not, we didn't, we wasn't following the case. Yeah, right? we don't know. Another thing I'm saying is that the court actually believed that, you know, the jury believed that he actually did it to his women. Yeah, because of the... The, the evidence from the civil case. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying. And the women. Exactly. So... So, do you believe that he was, you know? Well, like I said, if it was, if he okay. took, if he admitted to doing the drugs and then so took that you, verdict away, so, okay, would you decide just based on that? Yeah. So you, because that you decide. because of the fact that it was so long ago, and because of the time period that it happened was a party time period, I it would be like eh, ah, because there's true. not enough evidence. Uh -huh. But if he was wishy-washy really about his statements, then I, I think, would be like... I think we, I really want to know all the evidence that was back, back yeah, in court. I would need to, yeah, I would have to be a part of the jury to listen to all the evidence all the, before I, mean, I could court to see if really yeah. put a verdict down. Yeah, because if you actually, let's say you use the evidence for the civil case, and you decide that he is, you know, should be in jail for what he did. Mm -hmm. Then it's kind of fucked up that he's supposed to get, get out. It's like, you yeah. know, it's, you know... If he actually did these things and he and got up honest, into the guy, you know what I mean? He was That's able crazy. to get out because of the fact that he was able to afford really great lawyers and they Not were sure. able to do their job thoroughly and get him out through a loophole, pretty mm -hmm. much. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. tell us what you think about this, this thing in the comments. Yeah, I'm sure on everybody it. has a lot of um, stance yeah. on this. Yeah. There's more to this video. There'll be a link down below. You could watch the rest of the video. Mm -hmm. Um about their stance on the case. Um, it's very interesting. Um, like we said before, Andrew Schultz and them were really great. So um, if you're not subscribed to them, you should be. And as always, like, comment, subscribe.